Hello friends, today we will be talking about four main features formed by the river as it flows along. Uh, they are Piedmont Plains, Levees, Meanders, Oxbow Lakes. I will be discussing each one in detail as we move along, uh, so keep watching. Let's begin with Piedmont Plains. Piedmont Plains, the word is a little different because it's of the Italian origin. It can be divided into two, you know, Pied and Mont. So, Pied is an Italian word, Pied and Mont, and Pied means foot and Mont means hills. Okay, so with the name itself, we get to know that uh, this is a plain or this feature would be found where? At the foothills of the mountains. Now, in Pakistan, where are these Piedmont Plains located? They are found at the foothills of the Suleiman Ranges, of the Keitha Ranges, of the Himalayan Ranges. Okay. Now, um, what is the main feature of these Piedmont Plains? Meaning, how will you find that this, this area can be categorized or classified as a Piedmont Plain? Uh, you would uh, locate it. Uh, by identifying alluvial fans okay what are alluvial fans when the river flows down the slope of the mountain uh, firstly you should uh, understand that there are two main activities of the river uh, number one is erosion it erodes whatever is uh, comes in its way okay it could be sand silt uh, boulders uh, pieces of rock minerals etc so it's eroding it's taking out all that and it's uh, you know carrying it with itself and the second activity is deposition meaning all the load that it is carrying or it carries all along its course it has to throw it off somewhere or deposit it somewhere this activity of deposition usually takes place at the lower course you know when the velocity of the river decreases when the river starts that is from the mountains at that time the river is at its full speed it carries a lot of weight erosion is at its maximum as it comes down the slope of the uh, mountain or reaches the foothills of the mountain, the velocity of the river decreases and it starts to deposit or throw out all the things that it had collected on its way. Understood? Now since its velocity decreases as, as it reaches the foothills of the mountains, it starts to form channels or fan-like structures which are called as alluvial fans. Why are we calling them as alluvial fans? Because when it's forming these structures, it is depositing all the alluvium that it had carried with it. This alluvium is a mineral. And when it deposits it, you know, in these channels and, you know, in between these uh, channels, this area becomes extremely fertile, very, very good for agriculture. So remember that Piedmont Plains are very, very good areas for agriculture or for the growth of crops. Right? So that's it. No hard, uh, no, uh, nothing very hard or difficult in uh, Piedmont Plains. Okay? Now, where are they located in Pakistan? I said they are located in, in the foothills of Suleiman, Keithar and the Himalayan Ranges. In the Suleiman Ranges, these Piedmont Plains are known by a name which is called as Dera Jats. Okay? D-E-R-A-J-A-T-S. So, the Piedmont Plains of the Suleiman Ranges are called as Dera Jats. Clear? So, that's it. That's all about the Piedmont Plains that you got to know. Okay? okay now, let's discuss about the meanders in the Oxbow Plains. Now, this is again a very interesting feature formed by the river. As the river moves down uh, and it comes down, you know, or flows through plains. Where does it flows through? Not through mountains, but when it flows through plain areas, you know, it starts to bend. It starts to bend and go crisscross, you know, towards the right and towards the left, you know, taking bends and curves. So these bends are called as meanders. Okay, so you can, you can look at this figure. Okay, here. Now, one more thing that happens, you know, when it's forming these meanders, I already mentioned that the main activity of the river is deposition and erosion, erosion and deposition, okay. So, uh, when it's uh, coming here and it's forming these bends, it's not on the mountain slopes, so the speed of the river is not very uh, uh, great, it has uh, reduced to a certain extent, but it's still... Uh, uh, depositing a lot of load so where is it depositing in the inside of these bends okay so it starts depositing here when it curves down again or bends down again so this is the outer part not on the outer part but the inner part of the bend 
so this is where it's going to deposit the load again it deposits the load here and here and the inside of the bins you know here and here i hope it's visible okay and then this part here so okay so this these curves or these bends are called as meanders very simple right now at times what happens because of the you know um uh, amount of the water in the river increases to such an extent you know that the meander starts to increase in size meaning earlier supposing if the meander's uh, uh, you know size was this it starts to increase okay and it comes to a point where it increases to such an extent that instead of flowing through this bend like structure it stops flowing you know in this curved manner but goes straight down like this and when this happens you know instead of going through its its usual course it starts to go in a straight line this part gets cut off from the main body of the river so this part that is cut off okay or that has been ostracized from the main body of the river it forms an a bow like structure and this bow like structure is called as the oxbow lake so it's a lake of on its own okay so this is the oxbow lake interesting isn't it all right now this is no longer the part of the river this is what uh, what happens with it okay so it, it is detached from the main body of the river so th this was about meanders and this is the oxbow lake i hope it's clear now the next thing we will be discussing is um the levees okay one thing that i wanted to tell you people yeah if someone is wondering where the suleiman ranges are so these are the suleiman ranges here and this is the kitha range here so the piedmont plains are found at the foothills of the suleiman ranges and the kitha ranges now moving on to the last thing that we got to discuss it's the levees in very very simple terms what is a levee it is a raised ridge here on either sides of the ridge okay on either sides of the river this is called as a levee okay this is a levee now how is a levee formed naturally it's formed how obviously when the river flows through a pattern so it's eroding and it's flowing through a channel so what happens you know the part of this uh, uh, land it starts getting or moving on either sides on the left on the right and starts to ri rise that part becomes a levee okay so it's naturally also formed and it's man made also sometimes uh, you know it's artificially this area of the river is artificially raised in order to prevent floods okay now if you see this uh, diagram here and if you look at this diagram here you will see that the you know the river bed has risen in this in b whereas in a it was not as uh, raised as it as it is in uh, figure b why has it raised it's because of the main activity of the river again and that is deposition so how are levees formed levees are formed because of this activity of the river which is called as deposition the river is carrying a lot of load with it and it starts to deposit the load not only on the river bed this is the river bed this is called as the river bed okay and these are the sides of the river so it's depositing the load on the river bed and also on the sides of the river and these sides they get raised and this ridges are ridges ridge like structures are called as levees i hope it was really clear and uh, i try to make it as simple as possible uh, this will come in handy when we discuss uh, the indus plain and uh, the entire indus river it's a very interesting topic and i have covered you know these three uh, the, a few terms separately so that it becomes easier when you uh, listen to the next uh, lecture which will be on indus plains so till then signing off bye bye